Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to try and answer one of the most frequently asked questions on my previous video, and that is how to use Midjourney AI to create consistent looking characters. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you could create the same character in different poses and actions. While I wouldn't say the results are perfect yet, I'm actually quite happy with them and really wanted to share my experience with you nonetheless. So hopefully you'll find it helpful. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the tutorial, and don't forget to stay until the end and hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Okay, so let's put an image in and then our prompt for the character. So we always want to name our character because that will give an additional piece of information for the AI to associate your subsequent characters with the initial character that we're going to be creating here now. So we want to put a description of what the character looks like. So in this case, I put in beautiful. You can put cute, silly, happy. Um, I also want to put an age range. So in my case, I want to create a seven-year-old girl. Describe the hairstyle and the type of clothing that they're wearing. Um, and then also put in, in this case, I want to put in cute Pixar style illustration. You can really put any style you want. You can even put children's storybook illustration style. But in this case, I put in that and let's see what comes out. Okay, so now that you've generated the four images, let's click into the images and see which one we like the best. I think I like the first one, so I'm going to upscale that, and you can do that by pressing U1. U stands for upscale. Okay, so now that the image has been upscaled into a full-size, full-quality image, what you want to do is click into it, open in browser, and copy the image address because we're going to use this as part of our next prompt to create the same character doing something different. So the more references you can give the AI about this character, the better. Okay, so what are seed numbers? So seeds are basically like reference numbers within Midjourney that will allow you to create the exact same or similar images from one prompt to another. So they actually have some pretty good examples on the Midjourney site just to show you. Uh, for example, if you put in imagine and the prompt is some sort of owl picture, then it will have three, it'll, if you generate that same thing three separate times, it will actually create three very different results. Now with seed, if you were to put in the same imagine prompt and put in the exact same prompt uh, and then add in the seed number, then the results will actually be exactly the same. So this is going to be very useful for us as we want to create a very similar character, if not exactly the same, from picture to picture doing different things. So here it actually says using the same seed number and prompt will produce similar ending images, which is exactly what we need. Okay, so now that you have the upscaled image, you want to scroll up and click on Add Reaction. Click on the envelope, and what that does is it generates and sends you the seed number. And so if you scroll all the way at the bottom, you should see seed number reference of that image. Okay, so now that we have all three things, we want to put it all together and generate something of the same girl doing something different. So what we have is first we copied in the image address, we, which we had initially copied previously of the upscaled image. Now we want to paste in the exact same prompt that we had used initially to create this initial character. And now put in dash dash and now copy in the seed number that we had just generated. So what we want to do is change this up a little bit because we don't want to generate the exact same image. We want to generate the exact same girl doing something different. So let's try holding a small puppy and see what happens. Okay, so it's starting to generate our image. This is always the most exciting part. And we can already see that each of the girls here looks relatively similar to the girl that we created earlier and they're holding a puppy. Okay, so now that they've generated four images and I'd say that the face looks actually quite similar to the initial girl that we created. Of the four, which one we like best and then we upscale that image. So now let's try something different. So we would follow the same steps, copy the image address of the initial image that we had created 
because that's our reference image so that the AI knows to create something very similar to that girl. After you put in the uh, image address, you copy in the exact same prompt. And now that has a seed number already because in our second image, we already pasted in the seed number, so we don't have to paste that in again. Now, instead of holding a small puppy, let's make it do something different. Okay, let's try reading a book. Okay, so now you can see each of the girls is now holding a book and reading. They're not exactly the same, but as you can see, it also looks very similar to the original girl that we had created. So of the four images, you would probably just want to select the one that you think looks the best um, and is most similar to your original character. Okay, so let's try one last one. Now, same steps, you want to copy in the image address, paste that in first, then copy in the exact same prompt that we used to create the initial image plus the seed number that was subsequently generated. Okay, now we want to change up the what she's doing a little bit. So instead of holding a small puppy or reading a book, we want her to be looking up and pointing to the sky. Okay, starting to generate the image. And I can already see them actually looking up, which is amazing. So some are definitely better than others. I would say the third image is pretty good at the bottom left. Now, they're not actually pointing though, but I think it's pretty good. They were able to make the character look up. And the face looks quite similar, almost exactly the same as our original character. So in this case, we'll pick our favorite one again, similar to how we usually do it. And that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give my video a big thumbs up. I hope to see you next time.